thank you everybody for being here today. Um, it's a really exciting day uh, for myself and I think for the Galaxy family. Uh, you know, today actually is uh, marks 10 days to the day that I left uh, the world of Major League Baseball to join Major League Soccer. And if you told me uh, 10 years ago a day or 10 years ago that I'd be sitting here today um, with a coach like Greg, with players like Joska and Gabriel, um, you know, I wouldn't have believed you. So. We are extremely excited about having these uh, young men here with us. Um, you know, 10 years ago, it wouldn't have been possible to get somebody uh, to come join MLS from Gank or to come get a rising star from Bosco da Gama. So I think it speaks to uh, not just how much the league has grown, but also to the prominence of the Galaxy and uh, what a fantastic club we have. And that goes uh, all the way down from our ownership uh, to everybody working behind the scenes. So incredibly excited to. Uh, See these young men up here. Thanks, Will. We'll now take comments from LA Galaxy head coach, Greg Vandy. Greg? Thank you, and uh, again, welcome to everybody. Excited uh, in a couple days to get this thing started, get another season started, and uh, what better way than to have Miami on the other side. So we're excited about that. Uh, but today is about these two, these two gentlemen. Uh, we're really excited to add these guys to the roster. This has been uh, the culmination of a, a lot of work by Will and his team and, and all of us really trying to fill these two positions with guys that can uh, bring the talents that these two gentlemen have that are younger, that are dynamic, uh, that are going to bring another level to our team. Uh, they have the speed and the one-on-one -on -one ability. They're both goal-scoring wingers uh, that we've been looking for, guys who threaten the space behind the opposition, who get to the front of the goal, um, who can add a different layer to our team, not just because of their qualities and what they bring, but I think they're also guys who complement the rest of our group and are going to help other guys to be better as well and be more effective in the way uh, they play the game. So we're really excited about these two guys and getting to know them as people. Uh, Gabriel, a little more briefly, because he just got in a couple days ago, but uh, Josuke over the last week is also been exciting because it's these are two good human beings who are adding to our locker room culture as well as to what they're going to add to the field. So we're really excited to have these guys and looking forward to get them uh, get him off and running as quickly as this weekend. So it's it's go time for these guys. So welcome and we're excited to, to have them. Thank you, Greg. Next, we'll have comments from LA Galaxy forward Joseph Paintsill. Joseph. Yeah, I'm really also really happy to be here in a fantastic club like this. Uh, I'm here to give everything my all and also to uh, to be part of this family. It's really something unique for me. And I choose a, a, a Galaxy because it's a unique and a fantastic club. And I'm here to always play for the badge and also uh, to the family of uh, FC uh, LA Galaxy uh, to win games and to also win some trophies. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. Now we'll hear from LA Galaxy forward Gabriel Peck. Gabriel. Uh, primeiramente agradecer a Deus por essa oportunidade é dizer que eu estou muito feliz. Boa tarde a todos. É dizer que é uma nova oportunidade na minha carreira. Agradecer a confiança que o diretor, o treinador, o clube, os jogadores estão depositando na gente. Então dizer que eu estou muito feliz e estou ansioso para mostrar isso tudo dentro de campo. Uh, you say good afternoon, everybody. Good to be. Good to be here, very happy with the opportunity I'm having uh, in front of me. Thank you for the, all the front, front office coaches, all the Galaxy uh, for making this uh, effort to get here. Definitely is, is going to be a challenge. I'm looking forward for the, for the next game. Well done, Junie. <laughs> Thank you, Gabriel. Okay. We'll now open it up to questions from the media in the room. If you have a question of any of the speakers, please raise your hand and we'll hand a microphone to you. Right here at the front, Damien. Yes, Thanks. Yeah. Uh, well, just can you walk us through the process of um, getting these two here? Um, and then I have questions for Joseph and Gabriel as well. Yeah, it uh, it starts with yes, you're right. Um, you know, it starts with the profile, right? And that's what uh, Greg and our coaching staff and our uh, scouting staff, led by Michael Stevens, making sure we identify the right types of players that we want. And then going out and finding them. So as Greg mentioned, you know, we wanted dynamic, goal-dangerous wingers, guys who had had a measure of success at big clubs, because we are you know, a big club here, and there's a lot of pressure that comes with being a designated player playing in Los Angeles. So 
very quickly these young men identify themselves as exactly what we were looking for and then begins the process of trying to you know, sort of introduce ourselves, bring them here, um, you know, and, and my job is actually really easy in that regard, right? Because between the support we have from AEG, the uh, legacy of the galaxy in Southern California, um, I really don't have to do much. Um, but we were really confident that both of these young men, um, and not just with respect to their quality on the field, but, uh, you know, their character, who they are off the field, what they would bring to the group, their ambition, their desire for success, I mean, everything kind of lined up. And so, uh, you know, the, the process of signing involves agents, involves the player, involves family. It's a, you know, a, a long uh, road, but, um, you know, it was really important for us to have them here as soon as possible so we can start the season in the best way possible. So uh, really excited that uh, everything worked out. And then for Joseph and Gabriel, um, are you how familiar are you with Major League Soccer, and what's been your early impressions of the uh, the team in the locker room? Yeah, first of all, uh, me being in this club, I, uh, I think uh, the first time was uh, I had a lot of energy, especially with the uh, with the coaches and also with the players. Uh, the kind of feeling I had, I felt like yeah, this is really uh, a safe a safe place for me to be. And I'm really, really, uh, really happy that I, I chose uh, LA Galaxy because it's really one of the best clubs. As you can see, uh, the players who have moved from here, the players who were here before, uh, having a great uh, career and everything. I think me being part of this is, is, is just an amazing thing. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy to be here and of course uh, to help also. Uma liga muito grande que vem crescendo dia após dia, ano após ano, então fico muito feliz de estar podendo aqui representar o LA Galaxy, que é um grande clube na liga, o maior vencedor, então estou muito feliz. E quanto aos meus companheiros, é eu já estou me sentindo em casa, porque quando eu cheguei eles me receberam muito bem, então estou muito feliz e pronto para estrear junto da equipe. First of all, about the league, it's been growing year by year, I've been watching from outside, definitely been excited to see what it's, it's going to have for me. Also, in the locker room from the first day, I always feel well welcome. All my players, teammates, and coach feel, felt me make as a, as a home, and, and I feel very good to, to be around this environment. Next up. Hey, Greg. Uh, Wanted to get your thoughts on, uh, Joseph's been here a little bit, but Gabriel just showed up. Uh, how quickly can you integrate them into the lineup? Are, are we going to see them on Sunday? Uh, or is it something that may take a little bit of time? Well, they, the plan is that they will be involved on, on Sunday. And so, uh, you know, the roles, they, they've been watching the preseason games. So they've been watching the team uh, as the team has been going through preseason playing matches. And that's the beauty of streaming, I guess, on, during, uh, during preseason. Uh, and I've been chatting with them a bit about our style of play and the roles of the wingers and the functions in different phases of the game, stuff like that, just some tactical stuff. But really for them, it's a lot of what we're doing is very similar to what they've been doing, which is why it's a nice fit for us. Uh, it's not going to be anything unique uh, necessarily that they have, haven't seen before. So part of it is, is it's going to take natural time just to integrate with your teammates and get familiar with the guys around you and and build those connections. Um, but we don't have a lot of time to do that. That will happen a little bit on the fly. Uh, but in terms of their understanding, when I walk through their roles and the things that we were looking for and how we want to play, that's part of the reason they're here. You, I mean, you can ask them as part of it is, is seeing how we play and listening to and having discussions with these guys prior to them signing about how we want to play the game and what our style of play looks like and what the roles look like for them prior to coming. And so, Part of the reason they're here is, is also because of the way we play. Um, but they, they should be ready to go this weekend as long as physically they're in good positions and both of them are coming from being in their season, so their fitness level is good. Uh, I think Gabriel played about 20 games last month because of the the, um, the Cotton Bowl uh, Olympic qualifying. They played a ton of games, so it was nice for him to get maybe a week break or so before he comes, but he's eager and ready to go, and, and Joseph is, is ready to go. He's already had, you know, like you said, a week of just acclimating to the time zones and stuff like that, and so uh, I feel like he's ready to go. So for us, we're, we're excited to get them going. You know, what role they play on the weekend, we'll, we'll see, but uh, we are excited to have them a part of the group and get them active. In what ways do they transform this team? 
Um, and, and when you look at this team, and especially when you look at the attack with them, with Ricky, what, what do you see? Yeah, one of the things we've talked about for a while, uh, you know, Will, myself, and, and over the last chain uh, bit of years is we need to get a little more speed, a little bit more direct, get some players who are, who are working the spaces behind fullbacks and behind the back line. Because you got to open up the space between the lines if you want to uh, if you want to be a possession oriented team, and if you want your attacks to finish, you have to be have guys who can who can play in the one on one who will run without the ball. It gives a player like Ricky and our other midfielders targets, guys to get to the ball that can can make things happen in that final action. Uh, so I think it'll open up space for us. I think it's going to give us threats on the outsides. We see a lot of teams who've come here over the years, last couple of years, and they just really clog up the middle of the field, and they have. They require us to have to break them down on the outsides, and we just haven't really been super effective in doing that. Now we have two very talented players, and, and along with the ideas that, are, that we're implementing in the group on how to be a team that can really hurt teams from outside in as well as from inside out. And uh, so I think that opens up, again, more space, more opportunity. Lastly, when you look at, at our forwards and you look at Dayan, who's a, who is now stepping into a role, you have two guys, again, capable of threatening uh, the depth and getting to the end line and, and dragging center backs out of the middle because of our ability to beat players one-on-one -on -one just kind of opens up the face of the goal. And when you have, when you have goal scorers who are not necessarily guys who, who create things on their own but need the work of the collective uh, around them to open up little windows and pockets of space so that they can be great finishers, these are two guys who, who do that as good as any that we have seen, uh, which is why, why we made the commitment to bring these guys here. So, again, I think their qualities speak for themselves, um, but how they will impact this team is, is I, in my vision, is going to be extraordinary for the rest of the group as well, you know, giving, giving guys targets, opening space, doing things like that. So, Scott, we're, we're excited to have these guys and to see how they integrate with the group and they build connections with the rest of the team. Next question. Hey guys, Rob Jalon, Last Word on Sports. Uh, this one goes out to uh, Will. So there's been a, you know, a lot of new faces in, uh, faces that have left, uh, even including this week. Um, there's a couple of roster spots open still. Do you anticipate any more moves or, or are you setting yourself up uh, potentially for uh, an active next window? You know, uh, I would never say that, that we're done. You know, the nature of football is that some things always happen. Um, opportunities might arise that you weren't anticipating. Uh, things can happen internally, whether it's injuries or players leaving, that uh, mean you have to be ready and, and nimble. Um, you know, obviously this week we had to say goodbye to two players, Jonathan Bond and Chris Mavinga, and you know that's a, a reality of, of MLS, right? It's not something you deal with in other leagues with respect to salary budgets and, and roster constraints. So. Uh, you know, I think uh, keeping an open mind about what we can add to keep the depth up because uh, you never want to lose players without bringing guys in. Um, so I wouldn't say that we're doing something imminently, but you know, we're always looking and I think you know, we may have a chance to improve the team uh, before the primary window is closed. Uh, you mentioned at the, at the top of the presser here that, you know, maybe 10 years ago uh, when you were dreaming of coming to MLS, that it might not have been possible to bring in these type of players. Uh, you know, a big outlay financially as well, but what are you most proud of, uh, you know, accomplishing in this off season? I think, you know, first and foremost, that we can bring in uh, players like Joe and, and Gabriel, and that's massive. And, and it is true that 10 years ago, it wouldn't have been possible, but, uh, you know, also to bring in players like Mickey Yamane, uh, you know, from Kawasaki, who has been incredibly successful in Japan. Uh, you know, guys like John McCarthy and John Nelson, who have been around the league uh, and still want to be a part of our group. And so, you know, the the putting together of a team of just and not solely these guys, but high caliber characters, uh, guys who want to come, want to compete, want to win. And I'm proud now. You know, when you walk downstairs, I think it's safe to say the vibes feel really different. You know, uh, everybody's really excited. Everybody's really hungry. For a lot of reasons, we want to put 2023 behind us, but um, you know you can feel the energy with this group in the building, um, and that's not just for the players. That's with the front office staff and and you know the people that that aren't up here all the time. And so uh, I'm really proud to see how this group has come together, and and really proud of the work we put in this off season because it was a uh, a big lift to get the right guys and get the right guys in. Um, but I think we hit our marks. You know, nothing's ever done, like I said, but. Yeah, really proud about the work we were collectively able to do.
and this one is for uh, Joseph and Gabriel. Um, you guys uh, come to a, like, like Will said, a, a team full of optimism. I mean, the goal here in Los Angeles is to win MLS Cup every year, but do you have any personal goals uh, in your first year here with Los Angeles? Thanks. Yeah, uh, yeah for me, uh, my personal goals is uh, the most important thing is to uh, uh, win every game, uh, like not every game, but to win some matches. Uh, you know, you, you cannot just uh, say everything just like that, but uh, it goes like one game at a time. But the most important thing is also be, uh, be part of every competition that, uh, that we get ourselves into. That is really, really important. And for me, that's the most important thing to give everything and also, yeah, to, to, to help the team to also reach into every kind of stage that we have to be, like in the, in the cup game, uh, also win the cup. That's also my, uh, my, uh, my vision also uh, being here uh, because I'm here not just to play, but also to win games and also to help the team uh, to grow and to, to win some games and also to, to reach to the highest level and the potential that we have. That's the most important thing. Thank you. It's okay to win every game too, though. Yes, it's possible, yes. <laughs> É, meu objetivo, além de ganhar títulos, é poder ajudar a equipe da melhor maneira possível, com gols, assistências, estando todos os jogos disponíveis para o treinador e, junto com meus companheiros, levar o Galaxy ao maior nível possível. Sim, ele disse, besides win titles, my goal, my personal goal is to be on the field, given C scoring goals, uh, be the majority of the games available to selection. Uh, this is one of my, my strengths, be always available to, to the games, and I hope I, I can get the, t the club and back to where it belongs. Josh? All right, this question is for Joseph. Um, this seemed like it was a long process uh, from the time maybe the Galaxy first started talking to you to the time you finally got here. I wondered what were your thoughts at the beginning of the process whenever the Galaxy approached you, and um, you know what, what maybe either finally got you over the line, or how did that progress through, uh, through the negotiations? Yeah, uh, first of all, when uh, this uh, this news came, I was really uh, with the national team uh, in the AFCON, and when I heard that news, I was really happy uh, because uh, me having a, a call and also uh, like a, a news from uh, such a, a fantastic uh, club like this, I was really willing, and uh, it was for me it was a green light no matter what because I already also told my club, hey, this is something I want to do, so this just give me the green light, and I was like, yeah. I just let them give me the green light, and I was really happy that I really chose this this club. Did, did you ever feel like maybe it wasn't going to happen? Did it feel like every at that one point that things weren't going to work out that way? I knew it's going to happen because I really want to come. Thank you. Uh, this one's for Gabriel. Uh, welcome to Los Angeles. I just wanted to ask you, last year he had a really good season with uh, Vasco da Gama. You know, you ended up getting called up to Brazil for Camogobal pre-Olympic qualifiers. What was your motivation to make this move in your career um, away from Brazil and into a new league, into the U.S.? Uh, why, why move to LA Galaxy? Obrigado. Realmente, no Vasco, esse último ano foi a minha melhor temporada na carreira, com gols, assistências e jogando bastante jogos, e o que me fez vir para o Galaxy foi a história do clube, por ser um clube muito grande, um clube que sempre brigou por títulos aqui na MLS, e pela motivação, além da confiança que o treinador, que o diretor e todos da equipe tiveram no meu futebol. Yeah, that was a Vasco, uh, it was a good year for me, it's got a lot of goals, a lot of assists, I got to the national team, U23s, uh, over here, uh, with the Galaxy, I have a lot of expectations uh, to what is the year to come. Um, you know, looking forward to see what is ahead of us. Uh, definitely very confident, and I hope I can do a, a good year here. Yeah, and uh, this one here for Joseph. Um, again, welcome to Los Angeles. Uh, I wanted to ask you, you know, I think Greg's talked to you about uh, what he wants to see from his wingers, um, the tactical style of play. Um, does that excite you coming into this team? And, you know, you're the big acquisition here, big uh, reinforcement. Um, how much does that excite you, being part of this system? Yeah, uh, I, I would say the system that uh, the coach re, uh, plays is, is, is the kind of system that we also play in, uh, in Genk. So it's not uh, something really new for me uh, because he wants his wingers to run behind the players and also to tread also the space that's uh, behind the, uh, the defenders. And uh, that's also really my weapon also to use that space, to create that space and also to do whatever that is needed, especially when giving me the ball on the, on the flanks. 
to do what I need to do. So uh, with the type of uh, game plan and uh, yeah, style of play, is is the same thing that we also play in Genk. So I think that's the the main <laughs> issue and decision that he just chose me to to be part of this club. And uh, yeah, I'm 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 just here, and uh, as you can see, I'm I'm still alive and to give everything <laughs> which is really possible for this club. Next question. Uh, Joseph and Gabrielle, Sophie Nicolau here for TalkSport. Welcome to Los Angeles. You've moved to one of the greatest cities in the world. Uh, of course, you're here to work, but also your families, you've moved here. What are you most excited about in terms of uh, living in Los Angeles and exploring the city? First question. Yeah, for now, uh, I wouldn't say much because uh, I just landed in uh, LA. And uh, let's say I have no really time to go to the cities and do all, all this kind of things. But uh, that, will, that will happen maybe in a few weeks or maybe a month because uh, I just need to settle. And also the most important thing is just to focus really on, uh, on the game and also the leagues. That's really important. And after the, league, after the games and everything, what really matters is because I am a guy who always likes to stay indoors. So me going out is not something really uh, my thing, so yeah. Greg will love that. <laughs> From now, we'll go on to Zoom for a couple of questions. Gabriel. Oh, excuse me. Cheguei há pouco tempo, tem dois dias só que eu cheguei. Estou muito feliz, aqui é uma cidade incrível. Desde quando chegou a notícia que o LA Galaxy estava atrás de mim, todos os meus companheiros, familiares falaram que que eu poderia ir sem pensar duas vezes pela cidade, pelo clube. Então, estou muito feliz. Ainda não conheci os pontos turísticos, ainda não dei uma volta. Mas só de ouvir falar, eu já sei que aqui é incrível e eu estou gostando muito. Então, estou muito feliz e vou falar aqui com o Juninho né, para ver se me leva para conhecer alguns pontos turísticos depois do jogo, porque eu tô, vim para cá exclusivamente focado em jogar e evoluir. Eu just have two days in the city. Uh, I'm still having go around as much uh, from the hotel to to the you know to the stadium and get to see everything yet. Uh, but I'm looking forward to see what I what I can go all around the city. June is here to help me out to take me places, and I hope he can take me after after we're done here. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, looking forward to to what is ahead of us. And one for Greg. Greg, the last two seasons have kind of been painful in terms of almost you know, beating the uh, noisy neighbors down the road and then last season, uh, the way it ended too. What for you have you learned and with these new players, do you think that this is going to be the season where LA Galaxy can get back to winning ways and cross that line? Well, I thought we go back two years ago and in getting into the playoffs uh, and I thought we were hitting a really good stride going into the playoffs and had a good run. Uh, as you said, unfortunately, it ended a down the street um, in a game where I thought we were very much involved and just didn't get, didn't finish it. Sometimes that's football. We made a mistake at the end and it cost us. Last year was a whole set of circumstances like I've never really seen or been a part of. And there was a lot of lessons and a lot of things to learn from last year, not to get too deep and heavy. But one of the things that we take away from last year is just the evolution of the league and the addition of something like League's Cup in the middle of our season and how that's sort of changed the dynamics of our league. We've, we've now pushed a lot of games into the month of May and June and just the rigors that that puts on the players uh, to play these games in such proximity and have to travel. And, and so building a group that can have depth and players who can play game after game and can recover and play and have the durability. These guys have played a ton of games over the last few years and I know they have the ability to play and recover and play, but also to be able to, to rotate the squad a bit at times when, the, when it gets, uh, it gets dense like that with matches because that's, you know, last year we obviously saw some big injuries and some of that I think was just the combination of, of what was going on, but also the combination of just density of matches and everything else starts to put a lot onto the players. We saw it across the league a little bit. So uh, we've taken a reassessment of, of all of that over the course of the season to try to create more consistency and then a better process to go now with what could look like upwards of 45 plus games along with, uh, again, the density of certain things. And so uh, a lot of things, lessons taken there, but also just looking at the needs of our players and looking at some of the guys that we already have and what pieces we think can make them better also within our system and style, the things that we need that we feel like 
uh, can really take us to another level inside of the league to become a, another championship contender. And so we've worked to build that with, with our players, but also in the way we're working and training. Uh, for me, it's been uh, a good off season also, just because I, I stepped away and cleared my mind a little bit from last year, but also the, the readjustments of roles where Will can really take on a lot of things that are going on around the club and I can really focus my attention on the players and the team and what's happening on the field. Uh, has been a nice uh, adjustment for me personally, and I feel you know very connected to the group. And like I am, my attention is on them, not on everything else that's also going around. And so it's been a it's been a nice process for me and my, for myself as well. Scott. Okay, uh, for uh, Joske and Gabriel, just um, what does the LA Galaxy mean to you? What what have you heard about the Galaxy? What is it that gives it the reputation that it has? I, I would say uh, the reputation of LA Galaxy is something that is really a must for as a player to represent such a club. Uh, I am here to play for the badge. I am here to play for the team and I am here to play for the supporters and uh, to give everything that is really necessary and really needed. Uh, that is the most important thing to take also one game at a time. And yeah, uh, to play in this fantastic club, uh, you need to just have the confidence and also the belief and the trust, and not only as an individual, but with the collection of the team, working together with the staff, with the, with the players and everything. And at the end, uh, everything is going to be a success. Thanks. É um grande clube, né? O maior vencedor da liga. Então, o LA Galaxy, eu escutei sempre muito bem, até pelos grandes jogadores que já se passaram aqui. Então, eu estou muito feliz e me sentindo muito honrado de poder ter essa confiança de todo, toda a equipe do clube de depositar em mim. Então, eu quero corresponder o mais rápido dentro de campo. É um honor estar aqui. Esse clube é o maior clube da história da MLS. Estou feliz de estar aqui. Eu ouvi coisas boas sobre o clube. Estou muito confiante no que eu posso fazer aqui. Espero que eu possa fazer um bom trabalho aqui. All right, thank you group. Uh, we now will move on to uh, some photos. We'll have the speakers stand up, move the table back, and everyone can come to the front of the table. We'll do photos with the group for video and then photographers. If we can please have all photographers stay low, we will do the video first and the photo second. Thank you once again for your patience today. We'll do the jerseys front and back, yep. video yeah, first, stand up right here. Yep. and the group, and then the photos. Yep. Nobody fall, nobody get hurt, especially the players. Thank you all of you for joining us today. Will Koontz and Greg Vanny, 
will be available for scrums to the side of the stage as well as one-on-ones. Thank you for attending. We will see you right here at Dignity Health Sports Park on Sunday.